Well, in a matter of weeks, Metro students will be out of school for the year, and that typically triggers a spike when it comes to food insecurity. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas sat down with those helping to meet this need daily and the push for extra help they're anticipating they'll need come summer. Summer break is around the corner and groups like Hope Atlanta are gearing up to meet the need. Here at Hope Atlanta, we get about 3,000 calls for support and services per month. And during the summer, that only increases. Elizabeth Banks is chief programs officer for the organization. She says Hope Atlanta is already seeing a drastic increase in calls for help, especially when it comes to housing insecurity and homelessness. They're also experiencing food insecurity typically. And as students break from school, groups like Hope Atlanta prepare to see more kids, since summer can be detrimental for those dependent on school meals. In Georgia, more than one one million kids receive free and reduced lunch and extra grocery costs over the summer, advocates say, add up and are especially burdensome for families on a budget. However, according to a study conducted for the No Kid Hungry campaign, providing children with access to nutritious food beyond the school year and into the summer months has clear health, education and economic benefits, even helping prevent summer learning loss. Meanwhile, Banks just wants families to know there are resources and groups like Hope Atlanta are ready to help. We are really committed to making sure that our families not only achieve stability but self-sufficiency and food programs and summer lunch programs and our women's community kitchen are really critical to be able to make sure that everyone has their basic needs met. Well, earlier this year, 11 Alive broke news that Georgia leaders opted out of a new USDA program that would have provided families additional food support during the summer months. State leaders at the time said that they plan to focus on existing summer meal programs. Well, we did check in with the governor's office to see if they will reconsider that decision for 2025. We'll make sure to keep you posted on if they respond to us.